Hi friends, Allie here. Listen, years ago when I would come home from a trip, my entire body would be in pain. It would be throbbing and my legs would be sore to the touch. Plus, I would gain weight. I would literally have to schedule a 24 hours of recovery time after a trip. In a moment, I will give you very specific examples of what to eat to avoid pain, fatigue, and weight gain when you travel. And be sure to stay until the end because I will sum it up with five overall tips that will help you stay healthy and lose weight while traveling or at home. Plus, I have a free gift just for you. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you're notified every Friday when a new video drops in. Hi guys, or hey yes. <laughs> I am in a, a bathing suit here because I'm on vacation. Last episode, I promised you that we would talk about how to avoid fatigue and weight gain while on vacation. So here I am, I am at Daytona Beach Shores not too far away from my home, and I'm staying at the Shores Resort. This room has a mini fridge right in here, and no microwave. <laughs> so it has presented a bit of a challenge, and by the way, I'm not standing here in front of you in my bathing suit because I think that I'm all that. Quite the contrary, I have many areas I would like to continue to work on and improve, but I think that as women, we should be proud of who we are no matter what shape that we're in, we should be constantly striving to improve and eat healthier and live healthier lives. But no matter what, be who you are and be confident, even if you're not perfect. Because guess what? That day is never gonna come. We will never be perfect, so we might as well be happy now. Let's talk about what we might be able to do when we're on vacation. You can pack up your own foods and bring them with you. Even if you're traveling on a plane, you can pack up food. If you're going overseas though, you cannot pack any produce. You'll have to wait till you get to your destination and stop by a local market to get your produce. Okay, so here I am and I'm gonna show you what I packed and hopefully it's gonna give you some ideas. Now this isn't rocket science, but maybe it'll give you some aha moments to say, man, I could do that too, or I could add this into what I pack. So let's start with breakfast. For breakfast, I do my uh, plant protein shake. I actually use um, Advocare snack shakes, and it's all plant-based, plenty of nutrients, plenty of protein. In my shake, I do about 14 ounces of water. It's my water right here. Now I do things a little differently on vacation because I forgot a couple things. I forgot my turmeric, my ginger, and my honey. That usually goes in my shake, but it's no big deal, no tragedy here. I also use blueberries. I usually pop about six blueberries into my shake and three strawberries as well. I am also putting in Hawaiian spirulina to my shake. This is something I've just recently started. I'm also adding in bananas. To me, if there's bananas and chocolate in a shake, then I am golden. And that snack shake I showed you does have chocolate flavor as well. So moving on to ideas for lunch. I packed a toaster, as you can see here, and this toaster actually has like a little hot plate on it, and it's meant for putting in an egg. Now, I don't do eggs. I am completely plant-based, but it's an idea for you if you do eggs. So my lunch ideas are toasting the Ezekiel bread and then mixing in my avocado, mashing it up with a little bit of the juice from the oranges and then putting that on my Ezekiel bread. I did forget my pink Himalayan salt. That's a favorite that I usually mix in with this, but again, not the end of the world. In this Tupperware container that was under the avocados, I put in a mixture of canned diced tomatoes black beans, and corn. And I'm going to attempt to warm this up on this little hot spot here because I don't have a microwave. A microwave would be much more ideal in this situation. Heck, a full kitchenette would be the most ideal, but I don't have that here and that's okay. And I like to combine that mixture with an avocado as well. Another option with my small little hot plate is to grill up some mushrooms and onions, and I have a couple sauces I can use. Those are a stir-fry sauce, a kikoman, and a 
If I don't want to do that, if I'm not feeling like I want an Asian flavor, then I'll add in a pesto sauce, and this is really good as well. Hey there, let's move on to some snack ideas. I have carrots and hummus. My favorite is black bean hummus. I also have some broccoli that I have with my salad over here, but I can use that for a snack as well. Apples, raisins, all great snack ideas, and these are great because they can stay room temperature, so if you're traveling to a ball game or somewhere with the kids where you can't uh, warm things up or keep them cold, then this is a great idea. Along the same lines, I've got these um, Bombay Spice Chickpeas. They do have a little bit of added sugar in them, so you don't want to go crazy. And then recently, I discovered these organic brown rice rice cakes. And I've also got plenty of nuts. You know, gotta get our protein. I've got the black bean mix that you saw before, and peanuts, and then a nut mix here. So moving on to dinner, I usually try to eat lighter at dinner because when you're going to sleep, you're gonna burn a lot less calories than you do when you're busy during the day and possibly working out as well. This week, I packed with me spinach. And for salad ideas, I can do walnuts, uh, broccoli, ground flaxseed. By grounding the flaxseed, our body's able to digest it better. And I'm also doing nutritional yeast. Another thing I like to add to my salad is fruit. So I've got blackberries and I've also got some tomatoes. Now my dressing that I love is a honey ginger dressing that I get in the produce section of the grocery store. I forgot to bring it with me though. So I'm going to improvise. I have some avocado oil spray that I brought for the hot plate. And I'm sure I can get some lemon. Just order a water with lemon and I'll get some extra lemons at the restaurant downstairs and I'll hold on to those. And I will just create my own dressing and then once I get home and I'm able to weigh myself I'll see if it worked if I maintained or lost and hopefully I don't gain because that's the whole point and the other part of eating this way is just that you're filling your body with nutrients so that you're not gonna be fatigued you know it's when we are traveling and we eat at fast food restaurants and are getting all of those preservatives. I'm sure you've seen <laughs> pictures of those fast food hamburgers that 10 years later look the same. Well, that's what happens in our body and our system cannot break down much of the fast foods that we're eating on the go and so it just creates that belly bloat. But there's an answer. Once you start eating this way, it's gonna flush your system. Now to the evening. If you have watched my five steps to conquer chronic pain webinar, then you know how I feel about cherries and you know the benefits of cherries. I'm not going into all of them now. You're gonna to have to check out that webinar and I put a link to the video below. So check it out. It is about 43 minutes, so you'll wanna set up some time, but it's well worth it. I have my sweet cherries and then right before bedtime, this is not quite as pleasant. Right before bedtime, I do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar along with about a cup of water and if you're diabetic this really helps to regulate your blood sugar so when you wake up in the morning your blood sugar level should be in a really good spot if you've eaten decently I'm not saying that it makes up for um, horrible eating but it's really going to help regulate that for you it also helps with weight loss it's worth cringing and gulping it down trust me Whew. Now I am in my comfort zone. I've got a cover up on, I feel so much better. That was a lot for me. I hope it inspired you though to feel comfortable in who you are because we don't have to be perfect, not at all. So that is our plan for the week. Now there is a restaurant below, as I mentioned before. We may eat there a couple times because I love getting ideas from restaurants and then learning to recreate them at home. And I'm sure I may have a glass of wine or two. I am on a mini vacation, right? It's the fifth day of our trip and I am feeling fabulous. I should have done this sooner. I am actually here for my youngest son to attend surf camp. He attends every year and looks forward to it each summer, but usually I end up gaining weight. Not this time. So I actually weighed myself this morning and I'm down to now my goal was just to stay healthy, 
not feel fatigue, and to stay regular and not be dealing with any other health issues. Yet, I ended up losing weight and I feel so energetic. You can do the same. Just remember these five tips to stay and look fabulous while you're on vacation and even at home. Eat lots of leafy greens, eat lots of fruits and veggies, load up on plant protein, stay hydrated, and stay active. I covered the first two moments ago when I showed you everything that I brought here to eat. For number three, here are some great options to load up on plant protein. And I trust you know how to stay hydrated. Water, water, water. Thankfully, it's usually not too difficult to stay active whether you use your resort's fitness center, get a day pass at a local gym, walk, run, hike, or you can even row your way to help. I pray you found this beneficial, and guess what? As promised, I have a free gift for you. Just visit www.avocadoalley.net, and if you are interested in my 12-week program and apply, not only do you get a free 45 minute call with me, after our call, I will send you the first week. Whether you sign up or not, just enter travel tips in the coupon code during the application process. Stay healthy friends and tune in next week for my avocado challenge.